Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel. If I ask you, I have a folder and I would like to zip this folder because I have to send out an email with this attachment but that has to be zipped before it is being sent. So there will be a real project requirement. Now in that case, you have to zip this file using UiPath. So how to do it? Generally within windows you right click send to and hit on the compress zip folder and meanwhile it will create a zip folder the same thing can be achieved let me delete this within ui path okay so how to do that let's have a look now for this there's an activity that you have to look for is zip just type zip one activity that is compress or create a zip file compress zip file this is one of the activity and the other one is to extract to unzip the file okay these are the two activities readily available one thing people might be confused how to use this file option folder option what is the compressed file name what to be used here all this we are going to understand in detail okay first thing if you have to zip this specific folder and this folder has got several files within it so this specific folder becomes the content to be zipped right so here first option what we are going to do we'll click on this folder option and we are going to select the file or if you know the path name you can copy paste it so that is available within documents and sample pdf files this is the folder and i'm going to hit on ok so this is the content to be zipped okay now this particular field compressed file name what is the name of the file you would like to give okay so and where would you like to store let's say there are two options within ui path if you would like to store simply give it a name for example i want to store it as sample pdf don't have to give dot zip you don't have to write it it will automatically have the zip so let's say i want to give the name as sample pdf or PDF uh, files the exact name you can give whatever name you would like to want, want okay if you have to store within the location where the original file was then you can also utilize this way okay I'm giving the entire file and in case you would like to modify this file uh, this folder name you can always do it for example I'm doing sample PDF Rakesh whatever name you would like to give you can make all the modifications over here okay so this is understood this is to provide the content if you have more such folders you know which has to be um, zipped into a single folder uh, sample pdf rakesh you can provide as many as folder you like okay so here we are just using the sample pdf folder only this folder i'm using okay but you have option to go with multiple folders the third field that is called compressed file this is nothing but let me create a variable over here and give it a name um, zip file info or information whatever you like to type zip file information that means it is whatever the file got zipped where is that located what is that file name all this this is the variable which is going to contain this is the output of this activity it is going to contain that specific information okay let's see why there is an error let me recreate the variable yeah, the variable did not get created let me recreate right click create variable zip file info okay so the variable got created now if you look at the variable it is a file information variable type so these three fields are clear first is you are providing the content to be zipped second one is the file name you would like to give either you can provide the entire path or within the double code you can simply write the name of the zip file and this variable is all about containing the information about the zip file so this is all clear now let's use a message box just to understand what is the output of the this activity using the zip file info i'm going to use the same variable okay now let's run it so what would happen because I have given the entire path name the zip file will be created with the name sample pdf rakesh okay let's see that okay now you can see the message box output has come sample pdf rakesh.zip having the entire 
information about the file where exactly it is stored this is clear now let's go back and see you can see the sample pdf rakesh has been created if you want to create within the project let me delete it and you can give any name for example let me give test 1 2 3 4 5 let's say i'm giving a name so what would happen this test 1 2 3 5 will be created within your within the location of the project so let's run it so this field is very should be very very clear this is used to provide the name to the zip file okay this is complete go to the project folder try to refresh it you will see test 12345.zip has been created so this is all clear now if i ask you do not hard code anything and use a create a component which can be called using a invoke workflow file in that case if you don't have to hard code generally in a project you don't have to hard code so in that case what i will do right click create in argument and give it a name let's say in underscore uh, zip file name okay uh, that is the argument i've created same thing i will do right click create argument content to be zip this is nothing but the input in input folder okay so using this kind of a argument you can call it in a main workflow so this is quite simple all you have to do is invoke workflow file okay and then let's call that xml which is automate with rakesh and click on import argument now if your import argument doesn't come that necessarily i mean that does mean that you did not save it so just save this um automate with rakesh xml file and now hit on import arguments you should be able to find it so in in this one let's say i want to give the zip file name as test or let's say rakesh test one two three okay this is the zip file name the input folder path is nothing but control shift right click copy as path and i'm going to provide this path and hit on okay now if i run this what would happen in the main i'm just calling the component and i can call as many times in the main i want and with this what i'm expecting the zip file to be created okay rakesh test one two three now if you go to the project folder and refresh it rakesh test one two three zip has been created so these are couple of options there is also an option to provide a password let's say i want to provide a password uh, one two three see there are a lot of things to learn from a single activity let's say i'm giving a password one two three so what would happen now if i run this okay and there is an option also to overwrite because rakesh one two three is already available it is going to overwrite that see rakesh test one two three got created now if you go with this activity there is an option to overwrite existing file okay so now uh, let's go to the project folder and refresh this and test rakesh test one two three now this particular file if you go to open file location right click and try to extract all it's going to hit on extract it's going to ask for the password do you see only when I enter 1, 2, 3, click on OK, it is going to extract. So this is also another learning. What is the other thing that we can learn? What is the use of the files option? For example, if I go with files, okay, so let me uh, remove it. Now, if I go with files and uh, here, instead of, uh, let me use a simple variable, Rakesh123 even this can be hard coded just I'm giving an example here um, files let's click on this folder go to your sample PDF files so what is happening because I have selected sorry why I have selected zip it has to be a simple file click on files click on um, documents where I had the original okay then I'll go to sample PDF so what happens this one gives me an option to
to select all the files or you can hit on the control option and uncheck couple of the files so here i get an option to select how many files within that folder or where are those files which i want to be i want that to be autumn you know zipped click on open so let's say there are another couple of files which are available in some other location you can also add them so adding all these files what would happen all these files will be added into this zip folder when you run it so that is the use of file so you have the flexibility to choose specific files folder means everything there inside the folder will be will be zipped okay so 1 2 3 has been created now if you open that specific file so this small small experiment you must do it uh, and get a complete understanding before using any activity okay so rakesh test 1 to 3 right what was the name i have given rakesh 1 to 3 i have given okay so let's go to rakesh 1 to 3 hit on extract extract enter the password hit on okay now you can see all the files that we have selected was compressed getting it so that is the more or less use of compressed zip files so thank you guys for watching it and hopefully this must have given a in detail idea of how to use the compressed zip file or how to compress a file using uipath or how to zip a file using uipath studio thank you guys take care we are going to meet in our next video bye bye